Good afternoon, everybody. Colin here with iOPReviews.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up port forwarding for your Xbox One. I was having a lot of issues with connecting to parties, um, joining GTA lobbies. I would just join empty lobbies and stuff like that. Some of the parties wouldn't give me the option to actually join the party. So this is going to show you how to set up port forwarding. This is going to be different for different routers, but this website, portforward.com, check them out. There will be a link in the description. It does give you a list of routers to um, walk you through. This is for my router. I'm using the Linksys WRT 1900 AC. Um, so what you first you want to do is get the IP address um, off your Xbox so it can communicate with these ports on the router because it's going to allow um, it's going to open up those ports on the router for your Xbox to communicate with the Xbox Live servers. So first you're going to want to go on your Xbox, get the uh, IP address, and then like you can type it in right here and it will fill in all these spaces down here for you so you don't uh, you don't have to keep looking back and forth but what you're gonna do um, on my router you just go into the settings you go to apps and gaming under security and single port forwarding type the application name I just named it Xbox run 1 through 7 um, the internal the external port and the internal port are gonna be the same number as you can see here so you're gonna wanna open up 53 80 88 500, 3074, 3544, and 4500. You're going to want to leave the protocol on both, and then like I said, you just want to, want to type in 192.168.1 and then whatever the um, the last digits are. Um, that's going to be specific to your Xbox, so you're just going to look on your settings under network settings under advanced network, and it'll be the first line on your Xbox. On the Linksys, once you type all those in, just click apply, it'll save it, hit OK. Um, you're going to want to restart your Xbox and when you turn it back on you should see that the NAT type under network says open and not moderate or high. Mine was saying moderate and like I said I was having issues joining parties and stuff like that and it was um, when I rebooted the Xbox after doing this it was open all services are available and I could join every party that wasn't invite only um, so it did fix that problem and I was able to get into GTA lobbies without any issues. Like I said, it's going to be router specific. Here, um, you can click on a list of routers um, by pretty much any brand, and it will give you pictures and step-by-step -step information on how to port forward for Xbox, PS4, um, anything like that, and it will improve your connection on your um, Xbox or PlayStation to the servers to play online. This has been ColinThyroperReviews.com. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe for more videos, and as always, have a great day.